In Read Live, you can create groups to conveniently view and report on students. A group can be a class, a reading group, all students from a homeroom, or any set of students that you often work with or report on together. In Read Live, you may have noticed the Search by Group box on some pages. This feature is a powerful tool for increasing your efficiency, especially if your account has a lot of students. Let's watch Paul Ramos, the Read Live School Coordinator and Reading Specialist at Springfield Elementary, add a new reading group. Paul logs in and then clicks My Groups. On this page, staff members can view basic information about their groups. Your groups are private. Only you can see and use them. Today, Paul wants to add a new group, so he clicks Add Group. First, he enters the group name and description and saves them. Now he needs to select the students to add to his group. Paul clicks Add Students to Group and sees all the students at Springfield Elementary that have been entered in Read Live. To make it easier to find the students he's looking for, Paul uses filters to reduce the number of names in the list. In the grade column, Paul clicks the icon to show the filter, selects the grade of the students in his Period 4 class, clicks Apply Filter, and closes the filter by clicking anywhere on the page. Now he can see just the third graders, which makes it easier to select the students he wants to add to the group. Paul selects the students to add by clicking each name. He can select multiple students by clicking the first student and then holding down the Shift key while clicking the last student. Once he's selected the students to add, he clicks Add Selected to Group. The students Paul selected have been added to the group. To add more students to the group, just click Add Students to Group again. From this page, you can also remove students from the group by selecting the student and clicking Remove Selected from Group. Paul clicks Cancel to return to the My Groups main page. Notice that his new group has been added to the list. He clicks on the group name if he needs to edit the name or add more students to this group. Now Paul can use his new group on any of the pages that has a list of students. For example, on the Read Naturally Live page, Paul can view just the students in his Period 4 reading group by clicking the Search by Group box. In the drop-down, he selects the group he just created to see only the students in that group. Now he can quickly view information or make changes for students in the group. Clicking the X clears the group search, so all the students are listed again. When you apply a group, only students in the group who would normally be displayed on a page will be listed. For example, the Read Naturally Live page only lists licensed students. When Paul applies a group on this page, only the licensed students in his group are listed. Similarly, if your role in the software is teacher, this page lists only the students for whom you are the lead teacher. So, when you apply a group on this page, the list will show only those members of your group for whom you are the lead teacher. The software also enables you to delete groups. Paul wants to delete the Period 2 group, which still includes three students. To delete a group, check the box next to the name of the group you want to remove. Then click Delete Selected Groups and Confirm. When you delete a group, only the group will be deleted, not the students in it. Notice that Javier, Elena, and Cole still appear in the software.